Erva Louise on Christmas Eve by Janet Morgan Stoke. This was given to Luke in 2013 by Grandma, not me. Look at that hat. <laughs> Minerva Louise loved the way the snow sparkled on the house with the red curtains. Hey, those aren't just sparkles, she said. They're fireflies, and they're all dressed up in party colors. What fun! The party must be up here on the roof. Oh, look, they've invited some goats. And the goats have put on their fanciest horn for the party. Hey, who else is here? <laughs> oh, it's a farmer in a red hat. Hello, Mr. Farmer. How did you get up there? Whoa, what happened to your truck? Did all the wheels fall off? You know, it's kind of slippery up here. Be careful you don't fall. Oh dear, I knew you'd fall. Minerva Louise jumped down into the well after him. She landed with a dusty plop into a nest she had seen before. Oh, I must be inside, she thought. Wait a minute, that tree wasn't in here before. It must have come in out of the cold. Oh, and that pretty white hen is sitting up there to warm it up. Look, she's been laying the most wonderful eggs. They are all over the branches. <laughs> hey, Mr. Farmer, what are you doing? Unpacking? But this is where my farmers live. Now take your stuff out of their socks. And don't eat that. It's their breakfast. What will my farmers say when they wake up? You tell him, she whispered. He's not listening to me. She's talking to the rocky horse. The farmer in the red hat just looked at her and smiled. Then he pulled something from his bag. For me? Minerva Louise was so, ex so thrilled. She's got a nice box herself. She loved presents. Look at that. She's going to sit in her nest. The end.